Hey. All right. I may not have left things in this state when you last saw me working on this project. Just a little pixel editor. Um, I moved the palette to the right side and put the controls across the top. A couple things I need to do first. Get the margin out of here. So we have more space. I'm going to add a primary and secondary color. So there's no action here, but let's see. We'll do that, I guess. Um, Not really the best name for this, but we'll figure it out later. Go down to controls. All right, and controls is has two more items in it now. I forget the right way to. do this, but there's a way to make it just autofill. I can't remember how to do that right now, so we'll just do this. I don't want to take time to look it up and waste your time. So show grid, shows the grid over there. Um, this will be primary and secondary brushes over here. And I will set the um, I'll do that. I'll set the ID. Basically, the thought is when you click on a color here, and um, actually palettes selected should be red. Oops. Come on. It will uh, when you when you click on a color with your left mouse button, it'll set the primary color over here. And if you click on it with the right mouse button, it'll uh, set it as the secondary color. So then you can use right and left to draw with. All right, so. Pretty sure mouse down works for either. Click has palette, so I don't remember how to get the uh, mouse button that was clicked, but let's refresh. So pointer event. button. Pretty sure that logged another event too, and then it filtered up to the default button. Mm. That's weird. I know there's a way to get the second mouse button. That's odd. I could have swore. Uh, let's see. I don't see it right there. Oh, it might be which. Yeah. Um, in the end, let's click right button.
Okay, so it should be the right button. Okay, so this is click on a palette. So let's see if e dot button equals two. I feel like I'm missing something. So we'll just do this. Probably need to do like wonder if it's the um, right. I bet it's the mouse down. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Mouse down. I'll move this to the uh, mouse down. Right, mouse down is probably the thing that's bubbling up, thus triggering the triggering the context menu. All right. So, right, it's something that I always forget. Luckily, I seem to always stumble back across it too. Okay, so let's see if that works. Good. And right. All right, so then I need to prevent default. That's odd. Um, is that what I need to do? Why is that not working? I could have swore that was the way that you prevented the context menu. Um, so, MDM mouse print context menu. All right, I guess, <laughs> don't do it. Um, well, I do want to do it, but only for, things that bubble up, from palette. See if that helps. Yep, good. Okay, that is what I want. I don't want it to fully stop there, right? I, I really just want it on the um, on the colors because I want, and I'm gonna want it on the palette too, or on the um, <laughs> on pixels. So, I'll just go ahead and add it there. Okay, so it shows up there. It doesn't there. Wait, still does. Okay, let's see. Mouse down, pixels. Oh, right, right, right. It's a uh, context menu thing. <laughs> Text menu, palette, pixels. Okay, that should do it. Good. Okay. So, all right. Now, what I want to do is uh, mouse down on the palette, should set. Um, Yeah, I actually don't need to highlight the palette stuff anymore. That actually makes my job easier. Good. So. I 
I don't think I need that then. We'll check. No. But what I do want to do is make sure that in controls I have done. Um, is it brush one? I can't remember what I called it now. Did I call it? We'll do brush one, brush two. Sure. Brush one and brush two. And then when we have a mouse down, I need to probably call that brush one and brush two or color one, cursor color one. Yeah, this is kind of wrong. Um, actually change. Okay, so that's that. But controls handles color one style of background color equals do that too. I think I can do multiple assignment in JavaScript. Die. Yeah. Cool. Might not be what I want, but all right. Now, when I do mouse down in pixels. That's odd. Okay. I forget what I was thinking here. So this is parent node. <laughs> Can I do erase? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think I need this. Doesn't make any sense really. All right, 15 minutes in. Cool. So we've got primary, secondary brushes, erase works, brush size doesn't work yet, 
fill I haven't worked on yet. Did my selection go away? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Oh, I must have changed it to brush type. Right, because I, I switched it to um, where brush type could also be fill. So, um, it's down here. Brush type. All right, that might fix it. A function. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's not really what I want to do. I'll just do this. Hmm. Not entirely what I want to want to do. Like mixing type and size is no good. I mean, it sounds good in theory, but the problem is that when it is a number, when you want it to be three blocks wide, then when you're actually using that brush, you have to do constant like type checking, parsent, and <laughs> see what operation to take. Or I could just do, yeah, I actually could, um, And if it was not fill, then do it's not ideal because then you're parsing it every time, but whatever. Let's see what that does. So if I right, I um did um, I added spacing so I can no longer use child nodes because now there's white space, which means there are text nodes. There we go. Okay. So I had to go back to Query Selector All just to find the other siblings. And this should be, yeah, non numeric. This should be numeric. Yep. Okay, right click should be that. I wonder why. Oh, yeah, 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 right. I'm. Let's default to. Um, right click is uh, empty. So that's yellow and that's empty. All right, cool. So I need to <clears throat> change that. Quirky, but it works. Getting there. I, what I really want is for this, these items to grow with the amount of space. 
and I want them to be square. And I want this grid to grow with the amount of space too. Um, ideally, be smaller since we don't have vertical space. The idea is like I want this grid to fit in whatever viewport we have. Um, I kind of used this on a touchscreen laptop last night, and I'm trying to figure out the right sizing so that you can have your colors over here. And actually, this is too many colors. So I need to look up real quick how to just specify number of columns and have it do auto width or like, you know, fit the width where each one is equal. That's what I want with this grid. But I'll look at that up. Look that up and do it next time. See ya.